the two star Nautilus path with our two star bike. Let's do this. So yeah, the bike saga starts. We're gonna do all the paths with bike. <laughs> but I am not too confident about the, the upper ones. Okay, so random keywords is actually nice. This is also pretty good, but I'll take random keywords. You get life still somewhere and you can actually level up the field. Yeah, so bike is more, it's obviously weaker than uh, POC 1.0. Or the original POC. Pack is so weird in PO, uh, point two, uh, POC 2.0. I think he was like one of the strongest, if not the strongest champion in the other roster. But yeah, I'm actually also curious to see how well he does in the upper levels. Okay, so our attacking turn, we don't have to play the fish. Um, so we'll just play this one, even though it looks bad. It's fine. You want to play these guys on a defensive turn. Okay. So this guy got tough randomly and because of that it's gonna survive that one. Yeah, like I said Random keywords helps a lot sometimes. Okay, so we'll go next. We'll throw the thing into the deck first for confirm lurk This guy's lurk we'll play this confirm lurk and throw it back into the deck. Oh god elusive Super we're getting pretty crazy keywords. Okay, so definitely take this trade here um Because we want to take any face damage Okay, so we're okay with that one. He'll take this one. Get rid of the, getting rid of this guy early is good because he gives toss randomly for every other loss rate. So take that one out. Okay. We have another confirm lurker here. Okay. So we put this. This guy had over, but I would put it here. They would put it here anyway, so might as well put bullet I guess so far so good we actually hit lurk a lot three lurks I don't think we need bike we can just end it here right yeah now we no longer have confirmed bike uh, confirmed lurks okay, still got lurk it got elusive again oh nice super so random keywords is actually pretty nice good to know this earlier parts of the path it's gonna be experimentation to figure out which powers work well with uh, Pike. Okay, I will take this one. We have already vulnerable. Refill your mana. I don't need to refill your mana. I need this one. Free attack is pretty decent. Mihira is also pretty nice, but it's turn four though. Okay. So who will work well with? Uh, I think Poppy is nice. Huh? Nah, Poppy won't be nice. Okay. This guy gets draw. Just supported a little one plus one. Draven. Um. Uh, I think I'm tilted towards Raven more. Yeah, I'm tilted towards Raven more. Three and four. Champion attachment and healer, obviously. Champion attachment will get priority. Yeah, because we're looking for early game pressure. So, Pike and uh, Raven should be pretty good early game pressure. Okay. So, throw away the lists. Throw away this. Keep a lurker. I mean, you can confirm lurk with this. So, we keep it. Okay. So, now we can actually confirm lurk with these two and have these next turn ready. So that's pretty good. So, okay, which one is better? Okay, both are fine. Play this. Now it's confirm lurk. And get our lurk in. We got impact. Go next. Now we play the fish this turn. Okay. You get vulnerable every round. We do. Oh, I can't play. Okay, I can't play the fish. Play the fish. Even if you don't hit lurk, he dies. Yeah. Gonna pull this one. Okay. Pull it this. We have a wider boat than they do. We're gonna make it even wider. Okay, we can play this one next turn. We have Pike in the system. We'll play Pike. Start stacking his damage. Oh, life still. Okay. I guess no, we are not stacking his damage. But we'll take this. We'll attack with him. Miss, Pi uh, miss, miss Lurk. It's fine by us. Uh, as you get into the later parts of the game, you're gonna miss a lot of lurks because you're adding more cards in the deck which are not lurk, right? But damn, life still. Okay, bone skewer, not the worst. Play this one. Pretty nice. Okay. Unless we're gonna lose a card unnecessary. Unfortunately, we're gonna lose a lot of one. Uh, I'm tempted to put pike in the deck I, I am going to put pike in the deck because we have two bone skewers and we are losing units left and right so i want to level them i should have done it before uh, uh playing the snapjaw then i would get the pike spell but it's fine no worries 
Okay, we can play this one first. Let's see what they do. There's a scent in the air. Okay. Let's do that. You know, if I do this, I won't have Lark, so let's not do that. Put this one here. Okay, life's still pretty good. You can just do this. Hopefully, we won't miss Lark. Nice. Yeah, so we got there. Yeah, so that was a misplay by me. I could have played it much better. But it's fine, we are learning. Yeah, this should be fun in the upper levels. But he's way higher skill based than the others. That's for sure. Okay. We can get more of these, we can get this, or we can get this. Uh, I think I will take more of this. It helps us predict, and predict is an absolute blessing to the uh, Lurk squad. Okay, so get plus one draw. Okay. I will take a reroll. I already have Challenger. Take another reroll here. Okay, I will take Draven Challenger. Predict badass. Nice. We go to shop, get our first power, draw two rate. Uh, it's pretty good. Um, we want early game things, so drawing two at the start will help us a lot. We go for Scribes of Sorrow. Obviously, you have to go through this guy. I hate this guy. This is the worst fight in the entire in this entire path. Shipwreck Horror because of the treasure trove. Okay. We throw away these things. We don't have vulnerable, but we definitely want to keep a fish so that we can uh, try for lurk in the defensive turns. We might even need to play it in an offensive term if you know. Actually, no, we have two draws. Hopefully, we'll get something. If we can't get two good one card from the two draws, yeah. Hopefully, we get something. Yeah, some, we got something good. Yeah, as long as we have something good, it's, we're okay with it. Let's play this one. Oh, shit. It is our defense. I should have played the snap job, by the way. That was my bad. Oh, that was super bad. Okay, I have Draven on my side now. Definitely should have snapped your last turn. Should look at my first game of the day. Head goes in the other direction. Okay, so we play Draven. We could have confirmed Lord, but I want to develop my Draven. Okay. And there we go. The first treasure draws here. Oh, I'm gonna throw away the big guy because I technically don't need it. What does the axe have? Oh, Augment, that's why. Augment gives plus one, plus one if you play created cards and axes are created. Okay, we go next. We, this is where I'm gonna confirm Lurk. Lurk. Lurk is at what? How much? I don't even see Lurk. Yeah, so we haven't hit Lurk yet. That's second treasure true. Oh, God, this is gonna be pain. We play Snapchat, confirm Lurk. Put that in. Or I think we can have I think we have lethal on them next turn. We'll just check to see. We'll Snapchat as well. Yeah, we definitely have lethal on them. Yeah. Let's see how we can play it. Let's check to see how much damage we have on them. 14 exact 14. Okay. But we can do it we can do it much securely by doing this. If they have any spells, it's gonna be bad. But now they don't hand it they can't really do anything. We're going much wider, yeah. We're going much wider than they are. Play this one here. This in this way they have no counter. There we go. I could have just gone in for all in, but yeah, this is much safer. Super. Yeah, Pike is doing decent. I guess it's because I have a pretty good decent level on him. And maybe those other guys. You struggle the worst on. You struggle the most on level one. After you get a little bit HP, it's fine. Okay. Don't like any of these. Um, Manifestor region. I don't want to put anything more in my deck. I'll take a reroll here. Okay, I'm gonna put more lurkers in the deck. Higher probability of mi not missing, yeah. Lurk, okay. So you want to put more gems? Mana gems, I mean, and go next. It's fine. We want to put, put draw because we already have a power to give draw. And we'll face off against Sejuani. Yeah, so we start at turn 4, which is good for us. We can play Pike on curve, which is actually bad because Pike has only one attack power. Yeah, Pike has only one attack power, so there's zero point. But we can play the other cards. Okay. We'll keep this for predict, so we can our, hit our Lurk better. Okay. Our attacking turn. Turn four. Pass to see what they do. Yeah. Play this one. A little bad in the sense that uh, we're going to lose the units, but we have to go for it. Actually, we can go for two. Yeah, we can go for two then. 
one will survive one will. in both cases okay actually getting dishing dishing or damage to it first is important oh, nice almost killed it okay you can play the yeah right now so we'll do is do this so this one attacks that one and we get to predict and we get to hit lurk so we'll just do this hit lurk oh what just happened whatever let's just hit lurk then that was super nice okay. we're just gonna block this one Elusive is very important. We have like free damage on the face. The others are not that because the stack of Sejuan is gonna go in anyways. So there's no point of blocking. If you could prevent the uh, stack, then it was something. But right now it's not. Okay. So first of all, we'll just split this. Come from Lurk. This fortress. So we'll just go after that one. I'm still pretty good. Oh, scar grounds. We'll just strike with this. Okay, I can actually give it more stats. Okay, so let me give this guy stats so we can hit phase more. This one survived, this one does damage, and another unit. So we have a bit better tempo advantage. Sage one is coming next, next turn. Mm, getting a lot of snap jaws. Play snap jaw. Super. Life still back. I think we'll kill them before the Sage comes. We take the hit. Because it's a boss fight, we don't we boss fight, we don't need to mind HP. We do this. I think they should do it because this is where the turn where Sejuan is coming and we're gonna attack full on. But yeah, we won't play anything. Because Sejuan is gonna squeeze it. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. But we can just do this. We still do more damage. Yeah, we would have died anyway, but yeah. We could shot more damage like this. Super. Yeah. One more turn and do would be problematic because Sejuani would have hit the board. But even though even though if Sejuani came onto the board, it wasn't it was fine because they, her, she's not leveled up. Okay, we're going actually pretty well for Pike. Oh, play for free. It's pretty nice. I think I'll take plate for free on Pike. Yeah, I can play him him on turn one without using any mana up. Whenever we draw, we get plus one, plus one. Okay, I'll take a... Oh, nah. You don't want to take a reroll. Definitely not take a reroll. We we'll have. Okay, we don't have... We have only one reroll left, and I always want to keep one reroll. Eh, go fight against the Poros. It should be pain in another level. Okay, so we're attacking. We definitely want to keep this. Throw these two away. We'll hopefully get Pike. We can play Pike for free, and then pl play the others. Okay, this guy gets plus one plus one. Super Pike is absolutely gorgeous in this one. So we play Pike, gives up the mana back. Question is, is, is Pike spell going to have the attachment as well? Probably not. It's only the unit. Okay, so this one conf confirms Lurk. This one gives vulnerable there. That one has stats, so you can't actually play the girl anymore. So we'll play this. So how much damage is that? She takes one damage. Kill set. Okay. I think this is much better. It won't show because but lurk is something of random, not right? So it doesn't happen like that. Okay. Yeah, takes damage. That's fine. As long as we have a better tempo board, it's pretty good. Especially against portals, which is actually super difficult to do. Okay, so he is dying. Okay, can't really do anything about that. Actually, we can do this. This guy will grow, this guy will die, Pike will stay alive. Nice too. We could miss a lurk for that though. Okay. Draven's here. I think Draven, Draven play is good. But you throw away the girl. The girl's uh, value has been crossed in the earlier parts of the game, so you can't really do that. Just play this one on Draven. Time for the money uh, you wanna put Draven second. Because after this guy is killed, he's gonna grow. Yeah. Okay. Trade, trade. So far, so good. The next thing, Draven will level up. Vulnerable. If it's on, 
Oh, this, that's why I was making a mistake. I thought it's the list. That's why it's not list. It's the other one. Okay, so we'll just play this to get a lurk. Hopefully, miss lurk. That sucks. But we can just do this. Then it dies. Now we're cooking. One of the units are going to die to that one. Yeah, one of the units. We'll take the hit. It's fine. At the moment, I don't really mind. Uh, keep vulnerable that one. That was elusive. Oh, super. Yeah, the drop lot plus one plus one is pretty good. Uh, obviously, Pike. So what we want to do is give that one this. Okay, I already predicted Pike, so I can actually can't do it. Let me just take this one. The Luso has vulnerable, so I'm not too worried. But this guy can actually target kill people. So we'll just do this. Pike is here. Next turn is going to be a very big turn. Very big turn. Yeah. Oh god, 7-8, seven, 7-8. Eight, seven, eight. Okay, it's fine. We have a warling death on our side. No mention that we have Pike. We'll play the Pike during the attack, not before that. Oh, we'll play this one. Super. Okay. I will take that hit. We need the mana for these two. Okay. So they're playing it like that. How can I do it? Okay, how much is Pike at? Pike is at four damage. Okay. Mm. Yeah, so 18 damage is so much too. But we need a plan to finish them off. Which I don't actually see happening weirdly. Um, it's fine. We'll take the entire hit then. Hmm? We want to play this one here. Predict something. Uh, predict this guy. It'll help us predict next turn. Oh, come on. That was super smart of them. Yeah. Don't do this. Oh, he got leveled up. Pretty good. Seven hits on everything. Yeah, he kill, he does just fury. He'll kill everything because he grows every turn. Super. Mm -hmm. But as he has challenger, he'll kill everything on the board again. And he has we have yeah on us, warding death on us. So in the even in their attacking turn, it's gonna wipe everything. Okay. Uh, I can take another whirling death. Yeah, I'll take another whirling death. Super. Right up. It doesn't actually make a difference. Actually, it does. It does. Why? Well, well, actually, I want to level up my. Yeah. Yeah, I want to level up my Draven. So we have another vulnerable attack. Uh, overwhelm attacking. So Draven levels up. I, was I could actually level up. Yeah, I could have leveled him up in this match. I could have finished the game. Here. No, no, I couldn't have. I could have done 20 damage, but I couldn't have finished them. Yeah, so it doesn't matter because we are warding death. So if they attack, we're just gonna warding the pike and we're gonna wipe the board again. You're two now, anyways. So that's fine. Yeah, they can't do anything. We'll pull the HP to the side, the biggest one to the side. Okay. Yeah, this is the list. That's why I get confused. Okay, so this will commit Pike, and Pike will wipe the board without us using the attack token. Yeah, Pike is like super disgusting when he stabilizes. He does his thing. It was actually nice. See, uh, Draven and Pike are absolutely perfect. Same tempo, that's why they work well with each other. They're super. With insane amount of damage, but it's fine. Damn, I'm good. Uh, three, ugh. 27 damage. Uh, holy shit, we got a Rex in the squad now. Okay, Fury on everyone. It doesn't. Yeah, has Fury, or he got randomly Fury. Let's check. 
Pike. Pike doesn't have Fury, okay, so everybody having Fury is pretty good. All my Lurkers are gonna grow over time. Okay, let's take on this one. Gear hits are not the greatest. Is there any way to heal? Okay, this guy actually heals. No. Okay. To play, place a card from your deck, uh, from your hand into your deck. Predict, then create an exact copy of this one will live still for us. Yeah, we'll turn five onwards. Okay, we we'll take a reroll here. Spells costing one is okay. Shop this. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if this is the right way, but we'll go here. Do, do we have a revive? Okay, we have one revive on us. It's fine then. Yeah, if you have one revive, you can always play this because even using a revive is actually good use of resources. So us having three HP is not the worst. Okay, so obviously we want this on turn one, and we'll play this one so we can predict and get something and we'll play the it'll keep the entire hand actually we can play both of the guys okay the skip turns you have to be a little worried about that one okay, spells costing one else is even more disgusting play a bike first then play trapin no one then play the current have my orders then play this in the deck so confirm lurk and swing super pretty crazy turn for us question is should i have should i have axed that's the question it's all right is this the list no this is low. so what we want is to play this not hit lurk, we we'll definitely axe it. Time for the money makers. Hopefully they don't have anything. Super. Very good turn for us. We definitely predict. We get a lurk confirm. Oh shit, no, I made a mistake. They're gonna play it that stairs. No. I made a mistake. If that stairs seven mana. Okay, nice. Less each. I do another predict then. Super. I should have definitely swung by the way. That was super my stupidity. No. Should I pike? Nah, I can't pike. Fortunately, I can't find. Why does a lot of damage on him? You know, he doesn't have it. Yeah, this is the one that I was afraid of. Mm, by us. We can't technically attack. Oh, he is attacking. Oh, I have to block. My bad. What am I looking at? I don't have HP to give up. Oh, play this guy as well. Oh, he is played for free. The spell is played for free. Super. It's absolutely crazy then. Yeah, the spell is played for free. Oh, damn, we are Rex. Actually, I can. Even if they, it play, they play it stairs, we can play this. Super. Uh, who has that? So let's play this. Let's see what they do. Okay, I played it in wrong order, by the way. Yeah, Rexa should be first, then Pike. Ah, we got them, though. <laughs> 3 HP got them. Yeah, so his spell, spell is also played for free because of the token on him. Because of the attachment on him. That's super to know. That is actually insane information to know in the upper levels. Spells, bike spells played for free. Okay, nice, nice. Got 3 HP. Okay, more spell shield. Okay, we can rally. Rally is nice. I'll take it. Because spell shield on the dude doesn't really make that difficult. That big of a difference. You're getting a bunch of things is good. Okay. Gearheads is not the greatest. I think I'll take Barry in ice, right? Parody Nice is a brutal power on ES squad because they have no counter against it. But a 4 mana 6 6 challenger, eh, not the greatest though. Doesn't de debate on this one though. Parody Nice is pretty good. Gearhead is not. You're gonna just clog up the board and we don't have created cards in our deck. 
So yeah, parody knights is pretty good. I'll take two of them. Mm -hmm. That should be it. So we'll face off against Nautilus with a full heal. Okay. So this is the two-star Nautilus fight. No weekly challenge, it's the normal one with our two-star pike level seven with one rebuy. Let's do this. Yeah, we have nine powers on us. With two Baradian Eyes in the in the deck. Yeah, I think a Baradian Eyes is gonna be good. Yeah, Baradian Eyes is going to be good. I'm not gonna keep it in my hand, obviously. But I'll, it's somewhere, it's gonna be somewhere there. For a backup play. Okay, Rexai on turn one. Not the greatest. If we had pack mentality, it would be pretty crazy. No pike. Oh, brutal. I can actually get. I can play him. I want to see what they do. Yeah, I want to see what they do. If this would put the thing in your time, I was about to give it to Rek'Sai. It's fine. Um, I'm gonna put throw this guy away and pull them. Get it out of the way. We didn't hit luck. That sucks. You might need to play, um, yeah, Rex size somewhere in the next turn. Because we missed one, he will give us one extra. Because we have pack, uh, we don't have pack mentality, not pack mentality. Pack your back, so there's no way to put him back into the deck. So small, but she ain't lacking okay. courage. So we'll just vulnerable this one. So we'll just give it to this guy. Predict something. Uh, mm, this. Then I can predict it next turn. Set the hook. So I'll just do this. This. Whirling Death. For the money so Draven levels up. Pretty nice. We have, Warner, we have a uh, Overwhelm high damage dealer on the board now. But the biggest problem with Draven is he's gonna get killed by Devour. Because Devour's HP is way higher than Draven. <laughs> and we just threw away our Harpoon. Harpoon was the only protection Draven had. Okay, it's fine. Mm, we go next. Yeah, we gotta play Rexa this turn for sure. Turn four, super. So we play Rexa first. We'll see what they do. Stop playing. They're not gonna play anything. We're gonna play this. Yeah, I don't actually have to play that though. Yeah, I don't have to play that. Uh, I'll do this. Super. Rexa will give another one. So we have two stacks on Lurk at the moment. Freaking damage is pretty good. Yeah, Bone Secure, I would have Bone Secure something. Okay, how many cards? Nine? Okay, go next. Rexai has done his job. So next turn, Devour is coming. You have to be careful about that. Okay, putting it black in the deck. Okay, fine, we'll take it. I will put this one here. Hopefully get something else. Okay, you can take this one. Hopefully they won't attack and kill it. Hopefully. Oh no. Actually, yeah, we still get the draw though. Yeah, super. I thought it was only when we kill it. No. If it just dies again. Okay. Play this one. Six damage. Oh, we missed Lurk. How did we miss Lurk? What did I take? Oh, because the draw came. That's why. Okay, so we don't want to play that one this one. Uh, that one this turn. We can play this one. Oh, I could have finished them. Oh no, I couldn't have finished them all. I want to do this. Uh... Silence. Obviously, silence for anything that will get deep. I think we had it. We had it. We had enough damage, I think. Let's check. 3, 12, okay. 11. Yeah, we had it. We had enough damage. If we had played the uh, yeah. fish, it's alright. We just double commit. Oh, we do have it. Oh, super! Nice. Crazy. Okay, there you go. Pretty nice, pretty good combos. Now we know which things to go for. Definitely free played Pike. Okay, so this is the two star Nautilus path done with our two star Pike level 7. Let's see what we get. 
Okay, hey, no, not bad. Champion and Ashwin in power discussion time. So the champion I took as my support squad was Draven. Draven came with a sturdied uh, leather. We may giving him plus one plus one. So he's a three mana four three. Then I later on gave him challenger because he has quick attack. Quick attack challenger is an absolute monster on the board. And coming in turn three, which is early, is pretty monstrous. Moving under the powers, your spells cost one less. is pretty decent. Uh, Pike bones, uh, Pike bones cure his uh, whirling death. All of these uh, spells are gonna be uh, one less. And few of the uh, spells like this. Uh, Blood bait is gonna cost zero. This this thing is gonna call zero. So a couple of spells that cost one will be now zero, which is pretty good. Uh, moving on to the next one is Fury. Fury on Draven and Pike is pretty disgusting, especially Pike because when he does the level two thing of killing everything, for each kill he gets one stat line. So this is absolutely monstrous on Pike. Uh, next one is when you draw, give allies plus one. This round this is pretty good because of Pike's two star power when you get an auto draw. So that means everyone on the board will get plus one plus one which is temporary but still it's pretty good moving on to the next one are the two scraps of sorrow purchase they made which is temporary mana crystal on turn one so i get two i have two of them and i have two stars so two star gives two mana and these gives one mana so i will technically not technically will have four mana on turn one which is pretty good because you know pike is four mana moving on to the next power which is card uh game starts you draw two it's actually not the worst because at the earlier parts of the game we struggled to get two or one mana uh, units this will help us get it so it's pretty Good. when you summon an ally granted a random keyword always a very good power to have because you if you get randomly uh, lifesteal on a big unit or elusive on a big unit it can help you sustain or finish the game moving on to uh, pike's two star power every game it starts you get one extra mana and whenever an ally dies create a random lurk in the uh, random lurker that costs one more in your deck and granted plus one plus one so that means over time this deck cannot be uh, pike's deck cannot be milled because of this power and of course they get plus one plus one and you get more lurkers in the deck so your probability of hitting lurk will increase over time and of course this is uh, pike's monster power game start uh, grant uh, marina's rules to two random allies if you if you get the attack token granted to one more and draw one this draw one is gonna help combine with this power when you draw on uh, draw a card uh, give allies plus one plus one so it's gonna you're gonna auto draw one because everybody everybody draws one at the start of the turn and you this uh, get draw from this power so you get two draws every turn so everything on the board will get plus two plus two and of course Marai's, marina's ruse is basically an attachment that gives lurk and plus one plus one to the unit and it can hit the same unit twice more than once so that's about it